made it. Oh, kids are tired from the long road trip. Let me stop here, to get a bite to eat. Oh yeah, about this challenge that my sister gave me. Um, since we make no wager or nothing about it, and she always uh, already on um, all the challenge I gave her, I'm just gonna forget about this challenge because, like I said, we didn't make no wager. Plus, it's kind of hard for me to vlog and speak without using the word "so." So that's why we are here at my favorite restaurant, Red Robins. Got something to eat. And sister is mad because she thought it was gonna be hot and sunny. Oh yeah, gourmet. So we're inside the uh, Red Robins here. A lot of people here because it's not uh, You can't hear me. I apologize. Because everybody else is here is talking, blah blah blah. So that means. I don't know what that means. So I'm so excited to give me a monster for that. I want like a pit spell. Isn't there an age limit for that? I don't know, this will find out. So check out this vintage poster of King Kong. How cool is that? They have all kinds of pictures of that hanging up all over the place. Where is that big fries? Just like the regular red robin fries? Oh yeah. I've been dying for this for the longest time. I'm gonna stuff my face now. Be right back. Yo, just came out of Red Robins. Yeah, I just got out of Red Robin. Oh, that was a good meal, just like always. From surprise all the way to Queen Creek. Mm. Definitely satisfied my taste buds, nice and full now. So, by the way, we came back out here to Mesa. Um, we're gonna head back to the Mesa Community College, take care of some other things over there, <clears throat> and then stop at a couple other places. So maybe check at Walmart or something. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, those two are still inside, using the laboratory, and I'm outside waiting for them in the truck. By the way, you probably noticed something different about me. By the name of this title, you you know what happened. I shaved my head last night, but I didn't shave it completely. <clears throat> I just keep the same old hairstyle that I had since high school. Um, my hair up on top used to be more shorter; it wasn't long. I used to slick it back like this with hair gel. Then I think it was junior year I growing it out, let it get long, started wearing it in ponytail all the time, and now I just let it grow past my shoulders and I just wear it down most of the time, but I have it tied up right now because my air conditioning in the truck still isn't working, so we're driving with the windows down, but yeah, it's nice and cloudy out here today, um, not too, not too warm, not as much as last time, so thank God for the clouds pretty dry over here, staply dry, staply dry, it's pretty, pretty dry, oh by the way, our batteries to the camera are about to die, so I'm probably going to leave the camera in the truck this time, when we get to the college, I'm not going to bring it on, just in case it dies out, plus I, <coughs> plus I don't like carrying around this big old heavy camera with me, oh yeah, that's what's going on right now, and I'll uh, get back with you a little later. So this is the grill that little sister wants. And that's Amy Lynch. Hi. Swag. Hello. So we're at Fry's now. Looks like she woke up a little but I'm not sure. Did you tell them I was asleep? No. I was a zombie walking around earlier. Told them you were tired. <laughs> so we're trying to decide what milk to get. 
There's nothing more classic than the classic uh, Shamrock Cow. But we're on a budget, so we're gonna have to get the cheapo brand, fries brand. All this comes up to 17 bucks so far. How crazy is that? I'm curious as to how much it would have came out to for this stuff. If it was still 1992, 93, under 10 bucks maybe. I don't know. Back then I was tiny, and I didn't care about prices, so yeah. So apparently, Mr. Texty Text just wants to stay here and text. I don't know how many times I said follow me, and she kept standing here texting me. What? Really? <laughs> Are you serious? So I guess. You will follow me. I'm gonna hide it. He's hiding the toys. So nobody will buy them. See that? He's sticking it in the back. So it'll be here the next time he comes. Ham. Um, Toy Story. One, two, and three. Oh my gosh! That's so cool. Mustaches. <laughs> yeah, let's follow him. <laughs> We're following Maurice. No, I'm, I'm probably gonna fall over trying to do all three. Oh my gosh. Tequila. I'm getting my tequila full. Only if there's a worm in there. Because it has all kinds of psychedelic properties. So we're doing the self serve checkout. That dude was talking about this, saying that cashiers are giving stress or something, or we give them stress, and they're like, no, what? Do it yourself. Who said that? That comedian guy, Sebastian. Hi. You know what? Do it yourself. Should I try this one? Okay. Okay, Attendant will assist you with your payment. Oh, I get cash, that's why. Did you? Yeah. It's a card. Yeah, we got it now. It's a card. Oh. Oh. There you go. Oh. Sorry about that. I hit the people's. Are you okay? Are you guys okay? <laughs> Is that it? Pretty much. Are you leaving you in bed? No. Okay, so that's it for here. I think we're gonna head on home now. Uh, and that's Perfect this car. I need more time. There she goes again. Oh, that's why she was. She was in taxi. Or was she? Who knows? People looking all weird. There's a lady looking at me all weird. She's like. That boy is crazy, she is home with that boy. I think he was in there. Out in public, she is embarrassed at how stupid he looks. I'm not going to show you how dirty my car is. Did you see that lady coming in on the other side, staring at me? No. Because I was talking to these guys. Okay, so we are back home now. I'm all sweaty because it's hot outside and we was bringing in everything. But yeah, I'm back home. Lots of people out in town today. I don't know why. It's not even their payday. But I'm gonna get ready, get started on dinner while she updates her website for you guys. Twitter. YouTube. So yeah, I'm gonna be making by hand tonight. So that's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be my first time. 
I could say it's going to be my first time making homemade pizza. So I'm really looking forward to that and I'll get back with you guys a little later. Ta ta. Well, I got everything pretty much prepped already. Uh, got the dough spread it out in the pan, mixed and all together. Got a little extra too for later. <clears throat> Have my homemade pizza sauce all ready to go. So I'm just gonna lather up the dough with the sauce, throw the cheese and pepperoni, toss it in the oven, and we'll see how it comes out. Well, there it is. I just finished putting all the stuff on it. Got the toppings, sauce, cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that into the oven and I'll show you how it came out. So <clears throat> let's see. Um, I even amaze myself. Check how it came out, man. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking serious? Look, look at this. Look at that, man. Are you look? Oh my goodness. Look how thick this came out, man. Son of a gun, check that out. And that was made by me, by these bare hands. You can still see the dried up, crusty dough on my hands. That is insane, man. Can you... Man, I can't wait for it to cool off so I can chomp into it, see how it came out. Son of a gun, that's awesome. I am so proud of myself, like, for real, seriously. I made that from scratch. No, none of this frozen crap that you just throw straight into the oven. None of this factory pre-made processed crap. From scratch with my bare hands. Check that out, man. Oh, man, I just had to share with you guys. Oh. That is just so amazing. Like I said, I'm so proud of myself. You know, um, a lot lately I've been um, experimenting with cooking from scratch, making um, authentic uh, foods. Um, like for instance, my turkey casserole. That's something that I just threw together one night because I was really hungry and I, I thought there wasn't not that much to eat in the kitchen. So I just, gathered around some some not run some not some random stuff but some stuff that I thought would make a good um casserole like that. <clears throat> um, I was watching a vlog from Kid Behind the Camera, Pickle Boy, and he went to his dad's house, Angry Grandpa's house, for Sunday dinner and one of the things they were having was chicken pot pie and apparently Angry Grandpa made it in a one of those huge um, roasters, those throwaway roasters. I used it one time, then you throw it away. He made one of those. <clears throat> he used one of those to make um, chicken pot pie. And he used a. Uh, it looked like the biscuit dough that was already made, because it was like bumps of biscuits. So on top of the whole thing, like the biscuits were right next to each other. But that looked pretty good, and I was. I thought I'd try try out something like that. So I got some stuff that I thought would work um, I looked at a recipe on YouTube how to make the sauce or the gravy and I just you know I didn't have every ingredient used for that sauce that I, that I watched on YouTube <clears throat> but I just got what I had and I just threw it together you know just experimented and it came out pretty good my sister really likes it and our friend Tina really likes it and my sister's boyfriend Jesse likes it and I love it so yeah, I've just been doing that lately. Instead of buying stuff that's already made from the store and that reheat stuff, I've just been experimenting with cooking from scratch. And this is my proudest ever, man. Check that out. That is crazy, man. Camel bunga, dude. <laughs> well, I'm gonna wait for this to cool off, slice it up, munch out, see how it came out. Uh, my sister is sleeping right now. I'm gonna try to wake her up and so she can try it out for herself. 
But yeah, that's crazy, man. I'm so proud of myself. All right, so I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Oh, that is hot. Man, check that out. Son of a gun, that is crazy. Crust is a bit soft, but man, check that out. Check out that thickness, man. That is insane. Oh man, so that was scrumptious, delicious, filling, great flavor. The, you know, the sauce I put together was uh, pretty much, uh, so I just, pretty much I cooked the uh, pizza sauce basically. But yeah, it was pretty darn good. I'm so stuffed right now. Usually when it comes to pizza, I could put down like a good four or five slices before I get really full. <coughs> and got kind of full on two slices not real full but you know just wasn't hungry anymore but it tasted so good I went ahead and went for a third slice and I was barely able to finish that third slice <clears throat> so now I'm super stuffed because because of the thickness of the pizza and there's half of it left now that's gonna be it I hope you enjoyed the double package deal vlog two vlogs in one yeah i just decided to put them together into one vlog when we were out in in, the, in mesa uh, an emergency situation occurred and i decided to put the camera away while i was getting situated and stuff and after everything was okay i just i pretty much i forgot to continue vlogging plus i was getting kind of tired because i didn't get that much sleep that day so after the situation was taken care of, uh, we just grabbed something to eat at Jack in the Box and we headed back down here. And I was so tired and I had to go into work. I went into work a little, well, almost two hours late actually. But I was so tired and I still went to work for the whole night. And right before I was gonna go to work, I was gonna record the, uh, record the ending for the vlog real quick. And right when I turned it on, Bam, batteries just died out completely. Once I turned it on, it just shut back off because the batteries were dead. My sister and I were supposed to, or we were planning to make the trip into town for yesterday actually, Friday. But um, I was so tired that I, I slept in pretty late. Not real late, but um, probably about 3.30 in the afternoon, I finally woke up. But last night, the, the place where I was working, I had to go in at eight o'clock. So man, I wanted to take I wanted to take my time out in town too, so I just decided to cancel it, postpone it to today, so that's why we decided to go into town two days later and continue continue the vlog. Anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed it. I apologize if I made you hungry by showing you my pizza, <laughs> by showing off my first homemade pizza. Shaved my head, uh, two vlogs in one package deal for you. So hit that thumbs up favorite this video share it with your friends leave a comment you know all that good stuff and i'll talk to you next time take care rock on and god bless